has been working here in Iraq for um, for decades, and uh, we are focusing mainly on the human dimensions of development with many activities in the field of education, in the field of culture, also in um, the promotion of scientific knowledge, which for us is a critical dimension of this human development here, here in Iraq. And, and the ASHRI project comes in that particular context, how we can help uh, the Iraqi government, in particular the ministries of water resources, both in Baghdad and in Abil, to improve their capacity to manage in a sustainable manner and an equitable manner these water resources. Scarcity of water resources here in Iraq is uh, an issue, in particular surface water resources, is really alarming. I think this project in a way shows also how scientific cooperation project can actually bridge above political divides and bring people together around a topic of common concern and common commitment. ASHRI 2 is uh, an important project that the European Union has been funding in Iraq uh, since 2013, basically to uh, provide essential data for uh, water management uh, to the government of Iraq. And this is one of the projects in a, in a larger uh, cooperation envelope. And the European Union uh, is one of the main uh, international donors. UNESCO has uh, applied to this project both its extensive knowledge in, in this uh, water uh, management and water research and underground water uh, reservoirs uh, with uh, new technologies uh, such as satellite imagery. Uh, and this combination has really produced extraordinary results. The uh, wealth of data has been impressive and it will provide uh, critical information for the uh, Iraqi authorities to really uh, achieve a much better water management. ASHRI is an abbreviation or an acronym that stands for Advanced Survey of Hydrogeological Resources in Iraq. Now the project managed to achieve some important new insights existence of deep groundwater resources which are believed to uh, have a transboundary component. The neighboring countries of course they are carrying plans for expanding the use of water resources in their plans for agriculture and for the electricity production and uh, for this reason less water is coming in Iraq because Iraq most of its water comes through the river. Iraq doesn't have high rainfall rates and the water which is produced inside Iraq does not represent more than 20% of the resources. So in nine months we have a perfect overview of all the objectives standing between, uh, I would say, surface subsurface and then uh, two, three, four hundred meters down to two kilometers. So now we have reached Ashri 2 phase uh, with all these results and the, the treasure box. Uh, we have a lot of database uh, which is delivered today to the Iraqi authorities and we are releasing extremely highly strategic results. So collecting data especially for groundwater, it's expensive, it's time-consuming, it's technically challenging. So uh, we hope that uh, this will be um, something government of Iraq will be able to use in the future. It's, after all, groundwater, we don't know what is underground. So we are learning that the only way to be sure it is to drill and to physically um, check if whatever our theory is, uh, are actually real. But, and this is a major point in Ashri, with the today technology and the knowledge that was acquired over 50, 60 years, we can reinterpret that knowledge and maybe provide better indications on where to drill. Together with the other company, we built models, we built uh, uh, management uh, GIS, GIS are geographic information system that uh, allow us and also the beneficiary to manage this uh, groundwater. So models try to simulate the reality, the water availability and also try to uh, give elements for uh, uh, sustainable exploitation.
the process is uh, uh, filtering the radar images to such a point that we reveal only the soil moisture. And soil moisture down to 20 meters is very shallow, but uh, this kind of moisture reveals something deeper. And uh, if we are backed, if we are held by uh, seismic data, by uh, oil exploration well data too, which are much deeper, uh, we can infer the presence of deeper aquifer. And that was the case uh, thanks to the indication of this uh, huge uh, lineaman called the Abujir Fault, which is a lineaman of 600 kilometers, separating uh, the Iraqi platform of Western Desert from the Mesopotamian basin. This fracture plays a very important role in blocking all water harvested in Saudi Arabia uh, under, under the carbonated layers of the Western Desert. So that's why we can have great expectation of huge aquifers laying down to two kilometers. My name is Mizgin. I am a geologist engineer from uh, Groundwater Directorate in Accra District. Belong to the whole governorate, uh, Kurdistan region of Iraq. We were uh, supervising on uh, drilling and uh, testing uh, water well uh, for uh, barrage observation well. This uh, project uh, implementation uh, by Kista company, according to the specification of the Tantar for UNESCO Corporation, it uh, contains a drilling uh, water well deep uh, water well, 240 uh, meters, uh, according to the geological uh, report. My name is uh, Sermat. I am uh, from Groundwater Direc Directorate Airville. I am supervisor of uh, uh, this well, uh, Dara Shakran well. Uh, yesterday we started with uh, this well. Uh, the well is, uh, we must uh, drill it until uh, 320 meters and uh, uh, casing the wells by pipe, uh, galvanized pipe, use it uh, until uh, 320 meters. This uh, well is uh, very important for uh, this village and uh, many, many pupils have problem of uh, water. Uh, estimation depths of it, it's 320. From yesterday they work until now, they drill it 47 meters. We have 47 samples here. Every meter, one sample. Most of the samples is contain clay, and the other is uh, at uh, 40 captures the uh, gravel and uh, mixed sand. So now uh, we at uh, the stage of uh, loading uh, the uh, galvanized pipes. Our staff is uh, of uh, drillers and uh, foremen, they working for uh, uh, 24 hours in days. When uh, they come, they use uh, the compressor for uh, 10 hours, and uh, at first it, the water is turbid have more turbidity and at last the water is be cleaned. So uh, the water uh, and uh, we take it, the yield of the water and static dynamics of the water is very, very good that they can use it for nearly 400 percent. My personal opinion, and also the policy of the KRG government, that the data of water is not secret. It has to be available for all, because if you don't have the data for all, if you don't give the data for consultant company, if you don't give the data for the UN agency, if you don't use your data for the study and for research, it means that you will not benefit for your data. And the water, 
for all. So most of the water come uh, through Kurdistan, from Iran, from Turkey, from neighboring country, and goes through to other parts. Of. So it doesn't mean that this water only for me. The water for all. And the data also it have not to be secret. I think we did a very good job in Ashri too. Especially we, we, we centralized and we digitized. We make use of the new po web portal of uh, Ashri too. And of course, we will have a very good uh, database. We will have and which is centralized in the Ministry of Water Resources. From our side, we are ready to we cooperate with the EU and UNESCO and uh, the consortium. Well, this project will come to an end uh, in May 2018, but uh, we hope this project will continue and that the stakeholders, especially the Iraqi uh, government, will um, continue with this, uh, with this effort and will, uh, will really give uh, continuation to the uh, collection of data and uh, develop proper framework for water uh, management.